everyone. Welcome to Global Jaya School official YouTube channel. My name is Ibu Lin Lin from the admission office. To get the best education for every child is all parents' dream. That makes securing a place in a right school for your child or children become a very important and big decision. There are lots of ways to find out about potential schools. The easiest way is through online research. Visit their website and their social media. Second, talking to the parents from that school will give you an objective and independent opinion. Third, visit the school itself, get the feel of the classroom and other learning facilities. Talk to the admission staff or even their principal. You will notice all kinds of things that may affect your preferences of a school. This video will help you understand Global Jaya School in general. A short introduction by our head of school, then further our primary principal and one of the PYP teacher will talk about primary years in particular. In its 25th year serving in education, Global Jaya School is consistently maintaining the quality of education to all students. I will meet you again later in the end of the session for more details about admission process and of course more surprises for early registration. So stay tuned. Hi, I'm Pat Corey, the very proud head of Global Jaya School. We're a school of 720 students, 140 faculty, located in lovely Bintaro, South Tangerang, Indonesia. We're a three-program IB World School, offering the primary years program, middle years program, and the diploma program. Through this multi-part series, we're going to share information with you about our school, about our amazing students, and our fantastic faculty. Without further ado, I turn you over to Ibu Tessa and Ibu Dewi, who will share more information about our early years program. Hello, everyone. I'm Ibu Dewi, one of the primary principals at Global Jaya School. I'm really proud to welcome you to our beautiful campus, which is located in one of Jakarta's beautiful suburb, Bintaro Jaya. As Pa Kori has mentioned earlier, in primary, we are offering an educational program called PYP, which stands for Primary Years Program. PYP is an international curriculum framework that is designed for students aged 3 to 12. In Global JS School context, we are offering PYP from kindergarten to year 6. By choosing to implement the PYP, Global JS School is committed to develop students' academic, social, and emotional well-being, focusing on international mindedness and strong personal values. The PYP nurtures independent learning skills, encouraging every student to take responsibility for their own learning. In primary, our curriculum is implemented through a transdisciplinary approach using dual language of instruction. We have low student-teachers ratio and all school programs are collaboratively planned and delivered by year-level teams composed of host country nationals and expatriate teachers. The PYP is designed to be responsive to young children's ways of knowing. It provides schools with a thoughtfully designed way to give the young learner stimulating, supportive interaction with their teachers and the effective use of curricula. Early learning in Global JS School takes place in dynamic environments that promote play, discovery, and exploration. We acknowledge that each child is a unique individual that has their own interests and learning profiles. We believe that young learners are intelligent, resourceful, and creative individuals who grow develop, and learn at different rates. They explore their environment and learn about their work through play and relationship with peers, teachers, family, and community members. 
the PYP transdisciplinary framework offer young students authentic opportunities to focus on key developmental abilities. These are four features that are central to learning in the early years. Play, relationship, learning space, symbolic exploration, and expression. The development of understanding in language and mathematics are interwoven and intentionally explored through strategies such as games, rhymes, poems, stories, conversation, play, drawing, problem solving, reasoning, counting, patterning, and sequencing. Since the beginning of this school year, our school has been operating in home-based learning modes due to the COVID-19 pandemic. This mode of learning will continue until such time when we are allowed back into campus to resume face-to-face -face teaching and learning. Of course, while we are engaging with home-based learning, we will continue to prepare and plan eventual blended and on-campus models. Even though we are operating in a home-based learning mode, we want to assure you that teachers will continuously support the child's learning remotely. Using the right pedagogy and approach, our teachers carefully design the learning activities so that even if the activities are carried out at home, students will still be involved in a meaningful learning that will help them develop a variety of foundational skills. Combined with synchronous lessons that will provide avenues for our students to have social engagement, group discussion, not only can students get to interact real-time with their friends, but also collaborative skills are developed as they work with other students. In whatever modes of learning that we use, we will also continue to provide ways of nurturing students beyond the classroom learning. We aim to provide safe and positive learning experiences for our students to enhance their ability to succeed in school and life. Our effort in maintaining the student's well-being during HBL will include embedding the implementation of social-emotional learning, allocating a time within our weekly schedule for students to do regular physical activities, and ensuring that voice, choices, and ownership are given to students in their learning. In addition to that, our primary counselor will also be available to support and help students who have social-emotional challenges through counseling program. To give you more insight on what primary years program is implemented in early years, let's hear from one of our reception teachers, Ibu Tessa. Thank you, Ibu Devi. Hello, everybody. I'm Ibu Tessa. I teach reception. Before I go on, I have a question for everybody. What is your memorable early learning experience? I'm sure, like many of us, you must have fond memories of kindergarten. I even still remember my kindergarten teacher's name and the role play I performed when I was in kindergarten. That's because very young children have a natural curiosity and wonderment about their lives, which makes kindergarten a very fun place to be. Researchers argue that humans learn best when at least one of these four pillars are present. Do you know what they are? First, individuals take an active role in the learning environment. Second, they are all engaged. Third, information is meaningful. And last but not least, they interact in a social context. This means that children learn well when they are mentally active, engaged, social, and can make meaningful connections to their daily lives, which are all characteristics of play. In our early years classrooms, purposeful play experiences are constructed 
to create deeper learning experiences that a child will remember and internalize. In children's brain, when they are playing, they are actually doing the deepest learning. The different levels of learning that we are able to get into during play is a lot deeper than just pulling out a worksheet and having them fill in bubbles and that sort of thing. Play-based learning in our classroom looks like a small group of students creating structures in the blocks area, while others are playing in science, art, or library areas. The conversation among students is about building a mall, just like one near our school, for their painter friends to show their paintings in a live exhibition. They must have seen this somewhere before. So these students are recreating what they have seen outside of our immediate environment. Now what happened next is another student decides to join where the children reminds him, hey, only four at a time in blocks. He then counts how many are already in the block center by matching students with the fingers that he begins to hold up. And he decides that he can join because three plus one are four. It is through these rich experiences and conversations that we are able to get their concrete understanding of whole numbers and the PYP profiles at the same time by showing their caring for their friends. That sure sounds a lot more engaging and authentic than just a workbook quiz. Since the characteristics of early learners are a natural response to their holistic experience of their world around them, they highlight the importance of continuing the holistic approach to learning in school room. We provide an opportunity for early learners to develop the student's voice and agency as their ideas and interests spark and expand to learning possibilities in an inquiry-based classroom. When we invite young learners to wonder, we encourage investigations and creativity to explore new possibilities, ways of thinking, and solving the problems of the world. This can be as easy as the students are sharing their weekend activities. One is telling the class that he saw a big ship on the ocean at that time. Then they start to question how the ship, along with other objects, can float on the water. The teacher, being the facilitator in the classroom, then invites the students to wonder how we can find out the answer to that. Some might say that, oh, we have to go on a field trip to the place where the big ships are being. Some simply say, just check on the internet for the answer and some want to recreate this into a science experiment. So we decide to do the later one and have the students test their pretending shapes on the swimming pool. After we get the result, the learning does not stop there. Some go back to the classroom and ask to draw pictures of the shape. Some students want to create a 3D model of the shapes of course, they can use clays, they can use the blocks, they can also use the junk materials for this. Some even wants to, to be the captain of the ship. So he will go to the costume corner and pick up a costume for a ship captain, and then he will ask his friends to be the passengers of the ship. And if we get lucky, we might hear them singing, row, row, row your boat. Okay, we got lucky every day in kindergarten, by the way. <laughs> Through this kind of learning experience, Children are encouraged to collaborate, sharing their ideas, and listening to the ideas of others as they build meaning and understanding together. Children are encouraged to respond from their own perspectives and to celebrate the diversity of their ideas. This sense of well-being gives rise to the development of a growth mindset that will support them for years to come. As Ibu Dewi have mentioned before, Due to the pandemic, we have adapted our school activities and approaches to a home-based learning mode where teachers work side-by-side side with parents to accommodate 
meaningful inquiry-based learning through play from home. We wish everybody to stay safe, healthy, and happy. The admission office is now opening for inquiries for the coming academic year 2021 and 2022. Some of the year level will be filled up very soon as limited spaces are available. You may contact our admission office by sending email or phone call to. Thank you for watching this video and I wish you all healthy and happy life.